Hey guys, I'm Kate Simsley, and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. And if you're new, welcome in. Consider subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified every time that I upload. Today, we're creating a eclectic artist's home. So, this small trailer-style home has one bedroom and one bathroom, and it was built for a painter, sim, or like an artist. It's very bright and colorful and funky and eclectic and yeah, I really like the way it came out. It's cute and cozy and just really fun. So you'll watch it come together. It comes together pretty quickly actually. It's not too bad. I did uh, use the round rooms on the front of the trailer here. Um, and I had to fiddle with them a lot. Oh my gosh, there's so many little glitches with these round rooms. But I did use them and I like the way that it looks. It came out very cute. You'll see here that I did the outside, the exterior first, and I did it all using the Werewolves Pack siding. And I chose a bright yellow, and on the side I chose green for like the little front porch. And I think it was fun and cute, and it's something an artist would really do. It's funny because where I used to live, down the road, there was a woman, and she was an artist, and she had a little tiny house, and it was so brightly colored. She painted the fence all these like there were like little murals on each fence piece, like each slat for the fence had like its own little mural on it. And it was just very bright and fun. And then when I moved, as I got older, I moved out. And where I'm living now, down the road, there is an artist and it's the same concept. They have like a fence that's all painted and there's lots of like cool little knickknacks outside. And I think it is super cute. And so that kind of was my inspiration for this build. I did bright yellow cabinets in the kitchen, and I did a funky floor. I figured an artist is super creative, and they really like color, and so that is what I chose. I didn't put an oven. Instead, I put, like, the stove top, and it worked better. It took up less space. Unfortunately, it means your sims can't, like, bake, but you could always switch it out for an oven. It wouldn't matter. I just, I really like the stove top, and so I put that there. So I said, there's not a whole lot to say. I did use the um, plant light that I love in the kitchen to light things up. And I put the same flooring in the bathroom as I have in the kitchen. Like I said, it all comes together pretty quick. It's, I don't want to say it's simple because it's not. It's very uh, eclectic and interesting. But it, it came together really easily and so I'm happy with that. I chose to use these uh, couches from Cats and Dogs. I think I've never used them. I love this couch. It's super cute. But I've never used it. I do change the color swatch later on. But I used it as somewhat of a sectional. And so that worked out pretty well. Everything in this build is like bright and fun and colorful. And I just figured that maybe a lot of it she made herself. Or he. Whatever it is. Um, It's probably a she. It's very feminine. And that they're like collecting things. I wanted to put like a bunch of ornaments on the lawn. But I didn't end up doing it. I did, however, put like a bunch of plants in the front garden, and I've got like another, I've got two easels. There's one in the bedroom and one in the backyard. And I figure she enjoys the outdoors, and she can paint outside or inside if it's raining. And yeah, it's just really fun, so hopefully you will like it as well. I don't really know what to say. It's getting, like I said this in the last video, but it is getting warmer. Today is really nice and sunny. And there's lots of birds. It's funny because my backyard all of a sudden sounds like a rainforest. And I love it. I kind of wish it was a rainforest. But it's not. Um, not a lot is new. I've got my parents' dog here. Okay, I'm not really a dog person. I love dogs. But I don't like that they have to go outside. They never sit still. And they make strange noises. And so they're, it, I've had to pause this like five times. Because their dog keeps like licking itself. And making all these loud noises. And it will not be alone. It has to be with you at all times. And so, yeah, it's, it's been a lot. Um, yeah, I love dogs. Like, I love, I love all animals. But I love dogs. But the noises, I can't get past the noises that they make. They're always, like, licking or slurping or kind of thing. It's very overwhelming. So, that's been fun. But it's nice and quiet here today. And I figured I'd get this done so I can get it out on the weekend like I'm supposed to. And try and get back on schedule. Other than that, there's not a lot to say. There's not a lot going on. I've got no plans for the weekend. Nothing exciting. I'm going to try and 
finish up another build I've been working on. It is a rundown build. I do have a ghetto liquor store coming out shortly. Um, I just have to finish the voiceover. I've done the voiceover already, but I don't like the way that came out. And it's old, so it does not apply anymore. And I figure I'll redo that after this one. I'll get that out for you as well. And yeah, that's about it. That's my plans. Do you have anything exciting planned for your weekend? I would love to hear. Um, I don't know. I'm going to play music and let you watch the rest of this. We're going to do the living room and then we move on to the bathroom and bedroom. It's really quick and the outside is at the end. But I will play music. This is on the gallery as a eclectic artist house, I think. Um, the link will be in the description below or you can find this or any of my builds using the hashtag K.E. Simsley. And I'm on social media as well. You can find me using that hashtag. I'd love to see you wherever you are. Have yourself a simtacular day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! People knew her by her will To make it whatever she put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone And she knew it must rain before it grows She kept dreaming of the day Butterflies survived the wheel Even though she could knock down and never showed
Everything is over.